Oh, hello, folks. It's uh, Ken David Stewart again back, uh, back in this evening. And this time I'm going to uh, read an excerpt from the very first rough draft of a book that I am, or audiobook, ebook, possibly. We'll see what happens. Uh, that I've written and I've just started, and it's called, I'm just tentatively calling it The Wrestler. I'll have to name it something else. But it's basically about life and people on an independent uh, wrestling circuit. Uh, fictional fictional uh, novelized creation of my own. Okay, I'll start reading from The Rough Draft. February 14th, 2012. This is when I initially did the rough draft. It was about 4 p.m. when Mike Spangle arrived at his favorite bar. His friend Matt Dunning was already at the table and waved Mike over. When Mike arrived at Matt's table, he could see that Mac had been reading an auto technician's textbook. Studying hard? Mike asked his friend. Every chance I get, replied Matt. Did you sub today? Since he graduated from the Faculty of Education last May, Mike Spangle had been working as a substitute teacher. At this point in his life, he was not certain that he wanted to be a full-time permanent, uh, make a full-time permanent career out of being a teacher. Mike and Matt had been friends since grade school. They attended the same schools in elementary, junior high, and high school. They'd always been tight. Their friendship probably started in grade 5 when Matt was being swarmed by a group of bullies. Fortunately for Matt, Mike was just coming around the corner when he heard the ruckus. Mike was considerably larger than most boys his age and had a reputation for being a tough fighter. Mike had never been known to lose a fight. Do you girls want to make this a fair fight? I'm with Matt. The bullies looked sullen and then walked away. The incident solidified a lifelong bond between Mike and Matt. Yeah, I subbed at Blue River Junior High today, Mike answered. How was it, Matt asked. Oh, I could answer that in two words, Junior High. They both began to laugh. So do you think you're going to want to be a teacher all your life? I don't know. I've been giving it a lot of thought lately and I'm still undecided. When I talk with my cooperating teacher during my practicum, he tells me he's still putting in two hours of homework every night. I mean, the guy's been teaching for 20 years already. You'd figure his workload would slow down. Mr. James said that it doesn't. He said that the school district is always making them learn a new curriculum or two. The subjects and course material change every year, he says, and sometimes they switch his grade level around. I'm starting to wonder <coughs> if I'm dedicated enough to devote my whole life to teaching. Yeah, I know what you mean, replied Matt. I mean, I love cars and all that, but I'm sure, not sure I want to dedicate my whole life to fixing them either. I'm not sure I'm going to stick with this, uh, with this trade. Well, well, my friend, it sounds like we both are in the same boat. Okay, I'm going to stop it right there for today.